Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Paul and I deal with a bunch of shit, but mostly makeup. <laughs> and today we are going to be dealing with some more men's makeup, kind of like an updated men's makeup look, my men's makeup look, um, because this is generally if I am really trying to if I'm like trying to impress, this is like the look that I'll go for if I'm, or if I'm like just trying to feel like extra fresh, looking for fresh, a fresh glowy look, then this is what I go to. I can put links down in the de uh, description below of things that I used or I mean, I'm going to be using a lot of different things, so bear with me. Um, but honestly, any of these things, if I forget to put the links down there, which I might, because sometimes I do, I'm just, I'm going to be honest, um, they're easily found, most of them, at Ulta. Okay, so without further ado... What does that even mean, further ado? Without further ado. So without further ado, this is my routine. Okay, so for my all over complexion, I'm going to take the Urban One and Done and cut it with some of the hang Too Faced Hangover RX, because I love the However, this is marketed, and it, plus it smells great, plus these luminizing drops from Alginist, and a little of the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation for the coverage. But I like a glowy, so I'm adding the luminizing because that's more of a matte. You guys get it. Okay, so sometimes with my products and by sometimes I mean most of the time I like to play chemist and like mix different products together and see like what works the best and what looks the best and blah 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 blah. okay so I'm taking all of those products mixing them all together and then using the M439 to apply that so just like that and then honestly I'm going to be honest, this is the first time I've made this concoction, so you guys are going get, to get to see how it looks. But honestly, I it's probably going to look amazing. Oh, I really like the way this looks. Like, if you guys could see it, it's kind of like... If you've ever used Girl Meets Pearl from Benefit, that's an amazing, just like, I mix that, you can mix that in with anything because it just gives you that J-Lo glow, that like inner J-Lo glow that you're like, how does she look like that? Honestly, whenever I would mix that in with anything and put it on someone's skin, it just like bright, I don't know, just brought, brought, brought the glow out. Girl Meets Pearl, I love that one. Also, these Alginist Concentrated Luminizing Drops, they just soak in and they're so pretty. I love, I have the color champagne. Awesome. And honestly, that didn't, didn't give me exactly all the coverage I wanted, but I am going to be setting it with that pure mineral powder that I love so much. And that will give me the extra coverage that I'm looking for. That I'm looking for. That I'm looking for. And the concealer, honestly, that I use varies. Um, usually it's the Naked Skin. That seems to be my, like, quickest, easiest go-to that, like, works like I need it to. But lately I've really been finding the joy in the all-nighter concealer from Urban and I use that in the light neutral and I do kind of feel like it's like their version 
of tart shape tape. It's like not as whipped and moussey. So yeah, it's not as moussey. But I feel like it does blend out really easily with a nice coverage without looking or feeling too dry, you know? And I did just get that Urban compact thing. <laughs> what is it? Oh, the shape shifter. I should probably use that. Do you know what I'm going to use? We're going to use that to add some of the bronze because I went for that deep one. <clears throat> when it comes to my lids, I honestly prefer blending out with either my finger or a super small concealer brush like the M421 because I really hate getting like any type of found it like skin color on my eyelashes and then you just have to take it off like it's just extra work so if you just use a nice small brush and let it get into those good inner crevasses for ya the yellow ass should be good to go did anybody see that meme of Cardi B Rocking out to Fergie's, like, put to Fergie's national anthem. <laughs> you guys. Just anything Cardi B is, does to me is just ultimate humor in a good way. No shade. And then from the Anastasia Cream Palette, I'm gonna take that banana shade and just hit the t right the top, right up at the top and a little bit at the end. We're just gonna go ahead using this awesome, I don't know, it's from, it's a NYX Professional. Whatever this shape is, this is a shape that is awesome for, like, getting right up around your eye. Also for setting your concealer. Keep it in mind. I feel like I somehow wish that was brighter, but I'm not trying to get too crazy, I guess. And then taking uh, this shade... with the Morphe E47. And because this stuff is so pigmented, I'm just gonna <clears throat> do it light. And use that extra light touch. Cause you really cannot have, just like that, have a heavy hand with these creams because they do pack punch. You have to, I'll just shade that shit. So you do, you just shade it back. It's okay, I didn't mess up. Okay, and then I'm just taking like a synthetic crease brush. This is just from Bare Minerals. But I'm gonna use just a little bit of that same darker and just adding some of that like natural bronze color back because again I just like to look extra tanned well I just am tan but who doesn't want to be tanner except for a lot of Asian people <laughs> okay now now we're gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter in the medium powder that's th that one right there second powder or third powder depending on which way you're looking at it but if you're looking at it correctly it should be the second powder <laughs> and using this awesome number 19 Sonia Kush 
that Sonia, that Sonia brand that you can get at Target, whatever that is. Honestly, I think that this one is meant for highlighting. Um, but I think it works really great as a bronzer brush because it's really light and fluffy and it, you know, can diffuse something that is potentially really dark. It can make it really soft. Holy crap. That looks amazing. I'm so happy I got this. And obviously, just like anybody else, I feel like that wears makeup would want to do. I really like to work it into my temp, just like my hairline and just like my sideburns and like around the perimeter because just let's make it look as natural. If we're going to, you know, go for the gold, we might may as well make it look as good as it can or as natural as it can. It's as consistent. It's just about being consistent. Consistent makeup is a good thing. Then I'm going to add the my highlight color. And then I'll add a blush color. For the highlight color, we're also going to use the Urban with this color here on the end. Looks like, like a pinky rose gold. Wow. Holy crap. It's way more highlight than I ever actually do. And I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, that's way more highlight than I would ever normally do. But I did not know that there was going to be so much color to it. This is an uh, the Urban Shape Shifter contour palette I am like loving and I really work my highlighter in because I don't really like it to sit on top and look too ugh, reflective I'm not into like the ultra reflective highlighter look no no keep it somewhat natural or at least attempt to okay yeah I really dig that the last thing that I am going to do for complexion is add a little bit of blush using the Radiant Blush Kit from Anastasia. I believe that this was part of a holiday collection, but I love it. And shout out to my friend Sammy. Let me find her Instagram real quick because she gave me the other blush palette that I had found on a really good deal and then I didn't buy it and I went back the next day to buy it and it was gone of course as all good deals you know go but her Instagram is Colette colors 8 and she does amazing makeup and has really fun makeup looks um, so go check her out it's really impressive and that's c-o-l-e-t-t-e colors eight number eight and this is a technique that i actually heard that works really well for older women as far as applying face colors and blush is instead of going on the apples of the cheek because their cheek might be lower then you should go hit the top of their like more at the top of the cheekbone um and just take the blush a little bit higher and that's usually where I apply my blush because I want to give it that extra flush look like maybe I just went for a run even though you know I fucking didn't <laughs> my hair is extra big today also extra curly extra big lately that's how it's been going but I'm not actually hating it I feel like it makes it look cool like you next in line I am going to use the Anastasia Dip Brow in Granite to fill these babies up. And I am going to do that with the Morphe M165. I just start got this brush not that long ago. 
and I feel like because of the awesome tapered shape to it has like changed uh, how I do my brows and just like just how I feel about how I've done doing them <laughs> and plus just like how symmetrical they are before I was using a Mac angled liner brush and I thought it was pretty good but I just felt like there was something that was missing and with this brush there's a really awesome tapered shading that you really can do with it especially for like the sparse areas in the front of your brow just sparse areas but for me it's a little more in the front where I want want it to look a little fuller such as but more so on this one I don't know why this little guy isn't as full as his brother I wish he were he wishes he was so just compared to my other look or like my regular men's look this is just something a little bit more full I would say a little more detailed and just more <laughs> there's just more <laughs> there's quite a bit more and then last but not least we're going to finish with some of the urban decay all-nighter setting spray but look looking like that that feels so good and also just a little side I know that this is technically a lipstick but Bobby Dazzle from Urban Decay works really great just kind of as like a sem I don't know just a little bit of a semi gloss it does kind of kind of have a sparkle so if you're not into that then don't wear it but I'm into that like can you see that I just really dig that it's like that it's that I mean it's that highlighted look but even though sometimes it can make them look a little bit gray sometimes it can be a little bit too much and we don't want that Ugh. There's something about it that I'm really into. So, I think this is it. But yeah, this is really the look. I hope that you guys liked it. If you do anything in your life, please subscribe to this. And I will love you forever. Um, and thank you for all of the sweet people who have been like leaving comments and like, I don't know, doing that fun, like, interacting thing. Especially now that us small YouTubers are just doing this f because we love to do it. For the love of it. That's why we're doing it. Okay, so honestly, I think it looks great. I hope that you guys think it looks great. Okay, yeah. That's honestly all there is. And I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you on the next video, which I... Really, honestly, I just moved around a ton of shit in my apartment. I don't know if I've mentioned that already or not, but I just moved around a ton of furniture that became a much bigger job than I anticipated to make it easier to film. So hopefully I am able to start filming more, more often, because I think it's fun. And I know some of you guys think that it's fun, so... We'll see how it goes. Okay, until then, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Kind of like um, an updated man. I fucked that up. <laughs>